In this episode of Redefine, I show you how to rather quickly pull together a simple, broadly lit lighting configuration for a studio or in-home shoot. Adorama TV presents The Redefine Show with Tamara Lackey, bringing fresh ideas and equipment favorites. You can check out much more content with photographers by watching Adorama TV. Hi, Tamara Lackey here for Redefine Show with Adorama TV. In today's episode, I'm gonna take one subject, a couch, and a few constant lights and show you how to rather quickly set up a broadly lit lighting configuration that can work for you in the studio or for an in-home portrait shoot. Enjoy. This is Tamara Lackey. Be sure to check out Adorama's latest contest to win some fabulous prizes. All right, do you like how you're seating right there? You like, yes, that means yes, okay. Um, what we're doing is we're shooting against this broad, broad white open window, which gives us natural light. And I'm gonna use some bounce from this, these two four by eight foam card set up to reflect some bounce back on Dolly. It is a pretty cloudy, dreary day, so I'm gonna definitely be using additional studio lighting. This is my main light, the Westcott Spider Light. It's a TD6 and I can adjust it manually pretty easily. I'm gonna pull it all the way up and I wanna make sure I have a nice separation behind Dolly and the backdrop. So that is these Westcott Spider Lights. These are the TD3s or 5s. You can adjust them based on how much power you need. So we've got them right here. And if I put it right against the backdrop, I'm gonna have specular highlights in the backdrop. It's gonna look really bizarre back there. If I put it too much like this, then it spills over Dolly's shoulder and goes into the lens and causes issues. So I'm gonna have it right at enough distance from this backdrop so that it doesn't spill over. Look at you. Um, and I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So now I have a nice broadly lit palette. The reason I like that, I can either keep this light vertical or I can switch it to go horizontal. Um, in this case, I'm gonna shoot kind of a, a horizontal shot in a bit of a square, so I don't mind it this way. Um, the reason why I'm going to keep everything pretty broadly lit, um, I actually like my lighting to be a, a hint flat in the studio because everything goes through Photoshop, so I'm going to go ahead and process it. So I like the shot in a way where the children can move around and I can keep some even lighting as they do, uh, but also set myself up to process it well later and not overdo it in the studio, right? Right? Is this all gobbledygook? All right, so let's get our portrait. So let's come up here. You wanna scooch back? Yep, and let's get your legs up like this and hug your legs. Like, <laughs> you wanna hug your legs? Ready, like this. Haga, haga. Oh, oh, keep your toes, like take your fingers like this. Try it, try it. Just like that. All right, ready? Stay. Stay. Oh, how about this? Don't do it until I turn around, okay? When I turn around, it goes like that, okay? Watch, I'm gonna go all the way here. Go! Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> and then chin up a bit. And there you go, how to quickly set up a simple lighting configuration for the studio or an in-home portrait shoot. Join me here again next time on Adorama TV, and don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV for a bunch of all things photography goodness related stuff. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.